Today on the Libertas Videos Prop Reviews, we're going to be looking at the Hidden Blade Band Brace from my fan film, Assassin's Creed Betrayal. Now in previous videos, we've looked at pre-existing Hidden Blades, Connor Kenway's from Assassin's Creed 3 and Edward Kenway's from Assassin's Creed 4. Because this band brace is my own design, I'm going to take you through the entire process, from concept to reality. And then I'm going to look at the things that I've changed post-filming. But first, the video. Now if you haven't already seen our fan film Assassin's Creed Betrayal, hit pause and you can watch it right here. But for those of you who have seen it, you know that the video is one storyline that bounces back and forth between the modern day and the past. So when I was writing the script, I knew I wanted to have a modern assassin that could somewhat resemble his ancestor. Unfortunately, this was around the time of Assassin's Creed Revelations, and Ubisoft had not given us a decent modern looking van brace for any in-game assassins. Desmond simply strapped a hidden blade to his arm with leather straps. Now I get it. Fan braces kind of stand out in a modern crowd. But luckily, in the Assassin's Creed Encyclopedia, there was a piece of concept art for a modern hidden blade that gave me some inspiration. So I sketched out my idea and really latched onto the black and red theme of a master assassin and thought a carbon fiber texture would really sell the modern look. So with the concept done, I went about trying to make it a reality. Unfortunately, my fabrication skills quickly proved I had much to learn, and since the filming date was fast approaching, I was in need of a quick solution. So I went to the nearest sporting goods store. Now I know many have used shin guards for gauntlets, but the shapes I found just weren't fulfilling my vision. But then I came across a pair of roller hockey arm guards. They had an elbow protector on them, but I really liked the plastic molding on the arms. So I bought the arm guards and cut off the elbow protector. I was also still really holding on to that carbon fiber look. So I bought a carbon fiber vinyl on Amazon and used that to wrap the plastic. However, after cutting off the excess vinyl, there was still something missing, and it turned out to be the hint of red. The padding on the arm guards had a natural mesh pattern printed onto it that I liked, and I was afraid to ruin it. Nevertheless, I was able to use a red Sharpie marker to color in between the mesh print and really add that red accent that I was looking for. But something was still missing, since the van brace didn't cover the entire arm, it looked a little top heavy. So I went to the sporting goods store again and bought black basketball arm guards. They're really low profile, but have this cool texture on the padded sections. And that really pulled it all together. It also gave some extra padding for the metal rails that I was using for hidden blades at the time. Now the Assassin's Creed hidden blade replicas were not available at that time, but I think from the demo video you can see that the Edward Kenway hidden blade works really well with this fan brace design. And I'm sure the same thing applies for the Ezio hidden blade from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Anyway, I was able to pull this fan brace together pretty quickly, which helped as I didn't have a lot of time for pre-production. Unfortunately, that meant that some of the concepts didn't make it into the video. One being that cool digital watch integrated into the van brace. But since filming, I found a way to attach my old iPod Nano to the elastic on the van brace. And I think it adds an additional modern touch that really sells this as a modern day van brace. And that's the van brace from my fan film, Assassin's Creed Betrayal. Now I've been receiving a lot of requests to do the Ezio Hidden Blade from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So that's the next video I'm going to be tackling. But don't worry, I'll also be looking into the Altair Hidden Blade as well as Arno's Phantom Blade from Assassin's Creed Unity. Until then, let me know if there's any other prop reviews or sword reviews or even costume reviews that I can do that might help you out. Otherwise, I'll see you soon.